Hi guys, okay, so I am back uh, to show you more of putting this thing together. Off camera, I glued down these little things here. I cleaned them up a little bit. I don't know if you guys remember, but I, I goofed and I cut into one when I was cutting it with my X-Acto knife. And, and I, it went, you know, kind of weird. So I saved that piece. I glued it back in. So if you look back on um, part one, you'll see how I did all of this if you're interested. I left these so that I could show you. If you'll remember, they were loose. So all I did was I cleaned them up. They're not perfectly straight. I just cleaned them up. And so when I glued them in, I'm using art glitter glue um, and it is, it's working okay, but it's not drying right away. So I'm having to glue it and clip it. So I'm just putting glue on both sides. And putting clips on it uh, because I, I sat and I tried to hold them and it just, it just, you know, it was taking too long. So this worked well. And it's kind of shiny paper, so I'm guessing that's why. I don't know. But the clips did the job. So just both sides. So the next thing that we're going to do is work on covering the outside. And of course you could do fabric, you know, something like that. I'm going to do paper. All right, and I'm gonna start with this part here. And that is because I want it to sit and dry for a little bit before deciding if I'm going to add paper. It's, um, it's got little, oh gosh, what are these called? Um, score, you know, the score marks. I'm going to do that on paper, put it over it. I'm hoping that that is going to be thick enough, but it's, if it's not, I will be putting paper on this scored part as well. We're gonna figure that out together. I just don't know yet. So we're gonna work on it like this. And I have a piece of paper. It's cut already, but it's not like completely ready to put down. I thought we would do this part together because there are some things to take into consideration. I'm imagining that the paper is gonna move a little bit when the scores happen. I'm going to use my corner rounder and these have quite the round, you know, corners on them. So I'm gonna use the biggest one. Okay. So, and yeah, it matches pretty well, so that's good. I cut it so that it was in just a little bit from the edge so that you could still see the green all the way around and I like that. Okay, so one of the things that we need to do is make a hole. And this isn't really going to be easy. If, if you're asking me, I'm thinking not really gonna be easy. I looked through my paper punches and all that to see if I had something that would make the right size hole and I really don't. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our best to get this paper to stay put. And we're going to mark the hole from the back side. And then use my, that looks good I think. Okay, we're gonna use just my regular hole punch and go from there. So this is the hole that I, I, that's where I need to put the hole, but the hole needs to be big enough to go around the whole thing, the hole. 
So we're just going to see. We're just going to see how it works out. So I'm going to line it up as best I can. And then I'm going to lay it on top and see. Oh gosh, you guys. I just messed up. It's supposed to be like this. Oh, that just makes me want to cry. That that just makes me want to cry. Okay. Okay. I am really irritated with myself um, because I think I'm out of that paper. Like, I think two pieces come. Yeah. All right. All right. So I'm going to have to put something there to cover that hole. Oh my goodness, you guys. You have just no idea how irritated I am with myself right now. Accidents happen. Right? No problem. Accidents happen. So I had decided that I wanted to make it like this so that when you open it, it opens like the first page of a journal actually would. Okay. So we'll figure out something to cover that hole. I'm so irritated. So let's do this again. I just really want it to stay put. That's why I'm putting so many things on there. All right, let's try that again. Okay, so you see it's, you know, kind of, it's in the right place anyway. So now I need to decide what I need to do. I need to add some space definitely towards the front. And so I'm just going to take my paper punch and I'm going to just kind of add to the circle. sort of all the way around and to hope hope that it works. It may become an oval. I don't know. Okay, it needs a little bit more. Tedious, but you know, that's kind of what it's all about. All of this that we do is a little tedious. That's why we like it so much. I think I just made that a little too big, but I think it'll be okay. I think I want just a tad bit more just from this side right here. And it's, it is really not easy getting a tad. <laughs> really not. All right. And that's fine. I think that's totally fine. So what we're going to do now, make sure that it's where the hole is, make sure that it's right where you want it, and then we're gonna mark where we need to make our scores. The one problem is getting it straight and then hoping that it all lines up. So we're going to want a score mark here 
hopefully you can see what I'm doing that I'm in camera. I can see the score marks underneath. So that's, I'm just marking them. I'm gonna go ahead and mark the top ones as well. They're not gonna be as easy to see. And I just moved the whole thing. That's not frustrating at all. Can you guys tell, I made myself really mad just a minute ago, can you tell? I made myself really mad. There's one right here. Okay. And they really don't have to be perfect, but you want your, your paper to flex. going to here's what I'm going to do sometimes when you're trying to line something up with these I don't know if you guys have trouble too so like it's not straight my cuts aren't straight so if you line it up with the top and then come down to the bottom to find where it lines up you know it kind of helps and then hold it tight mm -hmm. And they're not perfectly on. So I'm going to do the next one here at the number four. So I'm going to come down to number, to the bottom of number four and line up this mark. And see if that lines up up there. It does actually, so that's pretty good. And then once I kind of bend them, they're probably not going to line up perfectly. I'm going to come to the half inch and a half inch and I hope you guys understand what I'm doing here I made a mark here and I made a mark here if I go like this and just line up my mark and do it it may not line up the right way down here because my paper might be cattywampus a little bit because I want it to fit the journal not necessarily the scoreboard so I found the mark and I'm going to find down here and line it up this way. So then I can tilt my paper as necessary. I hope that makes sense. All right. So there is our thing. Let's ink it real quick. I've gone to a couple estate sales in the last couple of days and have purchased absolutely nothing. One of them didn't have anything that, you know, was crafty. It was a beautiful house, but they were not crafty people. So, um, didn't get anything there. And then the one I went to today, they're, they were crafty, but they were it was from a long time ago. There was nothing that I found that I that even tempted me. You know, I'm going to go ahead and take these off. That glue is dry. So, but I mean, it's still, it's enjoyable to, you know, walk around in there. There are things that I could have gotten. Like I found one. So the person, you know, did some crafting, like paper crafting, but not much. And it was a long time ago. And in fact, I found no paper. But I found some stamps, but none that I wanted. And they didn't clean their stamps, and um, which is fine. You don't always have to clean your stamps. But I think that they had been sitting there unused for so long with 
dried up inks and whatever that I felt them and they just didn't even feel like they would stamp anymore. So yeah, I just totally was not even tempted. All right, you guys. So now we're going to glue it down and hope that it works out for us. And I am going to, I'm gonna put lots of glue on it. Lots of glue. There might be seepage, there might be all kinds of things, but I really need it to stay put. So, especially in the fold area. And our glitter glue, you know, it drying so fast, I really had a hurry. It's probably gonna squish around on there and everything. It might take a minute for it to dry, but it's better to have more than, more than enough than not enough. I, I realize you're probably out of um, frame, both top and bottom. Reach back in. Okay. Let's see, I think I'll run my bone folder up along it a little bit just to make sure that it's really getting contact. going to let that dry for just a little bit and we'll put um, paper up on this other side. There's like a little ridge right there so I'm trying to make sure the paper really gets on it or you know like into that ridge. Okay so we'll go ahead and do the paper that goes right here and that is going to be this one. And this one, we are just going to ink and glue down. And then we'll decide what we're gonna do over here. I'm sure you guys recognize this is Tim Holtz paper. It's, um, I don't have a full pack anymore. I've used bits and pieces all over the place. Um, and so I have lots of bits and pieces, but I had enough for the cover, which was good. Okay, so this should be fairly easy to glue down. Did I ink this? I probably, if I were able to um, do editing better, <laughs> I, I would have been able to do this all in one video. So I am, I'm so sorry about that. Um, but until I am capable of such things, oh well, you know. Let's see here. I wonder if you guys can hear my son's voice 
He's below me. He's down in the basement, but he's the um the, the ducts, the air ducts, the heater vent, the whatever it is, you know, it's all connected. So I can hear him talking to his friend. Playing video games. It's muffled, so I can't really hear what he's saying. Okay. Well, let's look how and see how the um, this turned out. It's probably good to go ahead and let it dry bent like that, isn't it? So then the question is here, whether or not I cover it. I feel like I should. At first I was thinking I would just take and cover this part and leave this. But I don't know, you guys. I don't know if... I want this to be nice and sturdy. Okay, so that means, let's see what I have. I have this, and that is what I was going to use. So it would be, that's fine. I might as well use it because I've already cut it, so. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna kind of line it up where I think will work best, um, where there's, it's not going to be in the way of anything. And then we'll cut that. And then I will have to score it again. Go ahead and get these sides done. And then I'm gonna have to mark the hole, but I think it'll stay put just fine with me just holding it like this. So I'm going to mark the hole. We're gonna do the whole punch thing again. This one I don't have to do as much because it's got a flat, a flat little lip, a flat lip instead of a fat lip. So I don't know, it might only require one punch. Um, yeah, actually, it sits right on there, right on the lip. Yeah, that works. Okay, hey, that's great. It's a lot less work. Oh, I probably should have scored before inking, but that's okay. It will definitely be sturdy, that's for sure. Okay. I need to score again. Well, it seems that I'm low. I need to cut a little bit off now because of where my hole is I need to cut just a slight amount off the bottom here because I can't even see where to score it just a slight amount and then I'll have to re corner punch it
we go. That's better. Okay, so on this one, I need my lines, my score marks to be there, there, and there. Oh, it moved. Shoot. There. There-ish. And there-ish. Yeah, okay. Actually, should have done the back side of this for my score marks to be going in the right direction, but we're going to make it work. Oh, yeah, I can totally hear. So it sounds like my son is angry right now, but I, I think it's just the excitement of playing the game. If there was anything I could get rid of in this world, it would be video games. Oopsie, did I say that out loud? Doggone things. Is it just me? Try to get rid of my marks, but I did already ink, so I don't know. It kind of makes things weird. Okay, I think it's fine. All right. So now I have my score marks going this direction. Now we're going to glue down and hope that it works properly. Still want a whole bunch of glue. Really want a lot of glue where it's going to bend. score marks and my hole and it's not working well at least I put enough glue down for it to move okay for a little while okay you guys I have a question for you um, so these things come with, well, this one did anyway, with one of these, but it's stretched out. And I'll show you and then ask, I don't know if you guys have any ideas, because I kind of don't. I, I don't know, maybe you can buy these and, and make them yourself. I'm really trying to get that in there. It's gonna be firm, but I think that if I let it dry,
in the curved position where it's supposed to be curved that it'll be okay. There's a little bunching of the paper and I'm not sure that there's any way to avoid that. Okay, so this thing is stretched out. So, you know, it goes like that. It's one of those things. But it's, you know, really big and stretched out right here. So, I mean, it could go around twice, but eventually it's not going to be able to because I'm going to add a bunch to it. So, do you guys have any suggestions on how to shorten this thing and make it still usable? Because if I took about that much off, then it would be pretty stretchy still, but hold it closed. So, I need to take it off, but I don't know how to make it latch on once I do take it off. Any thoughts? Okay, you guys, so here it is for now. And so you open it like this and we have a pocket and a flap and a pocket and a flap, a pocket, a flap, pocket, and then the back. That is where we are. All right, you guys, um, I hope this is kind of fun for you and, and different. And I hope that it turns out really cool. I don't know what it's gonna be yet. I'm going to put rubber bands probably around it to hold the shape in the curve while it's drying really well. Okay, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.